I'm going to show you how to change your oil and oil filter on your Honda Pacific Coast. Step one is easy. Go ride! Rides over, it's time to gather the materials that you'll need for the job. First up is a socket wrench with a 17 millimeter socket. Next, you'll need something to drain the used oil into. This funnel has measurement lines so I can measure and pour the oil with one device, and it was made in the US. You'll need a new oil filter and four quarts of clean oil. You'll probably also need a t shirt or rag to clean up. Begin by putting the bike up on the center stand. The only plastic you have to remove on your bike is the side panel, which you'd normally use to check your oil. Remove the dipstick. Position your waste oil container under the drain plug in front of the center stand. Underneath the bike and towards the front, you'll see a 17 millimeter drain plug. Loosen the plug. Make sure your socket wrench is set correctly. Loosen the plug. In addition to the drain plug, you'll find a silver washer. I usually reuse my washer, but you can buy a new one at the Honda dealer. Drain the oil. This process usually takes 10 to 15 minutes. Don't be in a hurry. What's your hurry, boys? Wahoo, Nelly! <laughs> you all care to practice with me for the square dancing tomorrow? Delighted, ma'am. Same likewise, I'm sure, ma'am. Reposition your oil container so that it's underneath the oil filter. Put your side stand down, and behind the side stand is your oil filter. Loosen it until the oil spills all over your exhaust pipe. This is actually normal. After a few minutes, oil should stop draining. Wipe everything with a rag, including the exhaust pipe. Before installing the new oil filter, make sure to put a thin coat of fresh oil around the rubber gasket. Install the new oil filter. I usually hand tighten mine and have never had a leak. Reinstall the 17 millimeter oil drain plug with the washer. Once you've hand tightened the bolt, tighten it up further with your 17 millimeter socket wrench or a torque wrench if you have one. 25 foot pounds is the setting. Using the same hole where your dipstick was, put in 3.4 quarts of motor oil into your crankcase. When you've added 3.4 quarts of oil, put your dipstick back in, start your bike up, and let it idle for a minute or two. Check for oil leaks around the drain plug and the oil filter. Lastly, remove your dipstick, wipe it off, and put it back into the hole without actually screwing it in. Now check your dipstick. You want the oil to be at the top of the hatch marks. 
take a 10 or 15 minute ride, check for any leaks, and you are done.